Hey Aries, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be taking a look at your Lamas through Mabin, your August through September seasonal reading here. So your meditation was short but sweet. I saw, um, I was like in a kitchen and um, I saw two sticks of cinnamon sitting on a kitchen counter and I saw them crossed like this, like there were two little logs or something like fire logs. And then I saw like a flame lit and they were set on fire but just enough to where they were able to emit their aroma. It smelled really, really nice, beautiful cinnamon smell. And then I saw this mole, as in the animal, uh, come up and cuddle next to the cinnamon. And it couldn't see very well as moles, you know, don't have the best eyesight. Uh, but they are led by their noses and their other senses are heightened to accommodate for that lack of vision. And this mole was sitting by this, you know, burning cinnamon and just breathing in deeply and feeling so at peace and feeling, you know, so centered. So really interesting meditation there. Um, it felt like a source of comfort. And when, when your eyes, you know, aren't that reliable or when the vision is restricted or obstructed in some way, follow your nose, trust in what smells right and doesn't smell right to you, right? You can always find home if you follow your nose. That's what I'm hearing. So your animal energy coming in is the cobra. So really fascinating. This is fire energy. I saw the little fire in your meditation. And you may know that when you get a animal that is your same element, that is always very auspicious. So the fact that you have a cobra coming in with fire for your fire sign selves, really good news. So the cobra um, relates to the hanged man and the tarot, which is about, you know, a stalemate, but it's also about flipping your perspective about, you know, allowing yourself to to pause and look at something differently so that you can gain objectivity, right? Objectivity being the key word here. So whenever we're, you know, our perspective is wanting to be shifted or we're being called to look at something differently, it's usually because something wants to shift and change within and around us. And the fact that that mole came through with that restricted vision, and then we have the cobra here, you know, when snakes shed their skin, and go through their own transformation, their eyes get very cloudy and they can't see well. Um, that's when they're most vulnerable to predators. So I, I feel like there's something in this around a transformation and shift that, that directly uh, affects or relates to how you see things, your ability to see things clearly. So very, very interesting. So you are coming through as another symbol of metamorphosis here with the butterfly with the two of pentacles. Now, traditionally, two of pentacles is about juggling. It's about having an equal balance between your work life and your home life. But it's also about feeling like you've got a lot on, right? If you're, both of your hands are full, then you don't have a free hand if something else comes up, right? Or you might feel like you're going to drop the ball, right? So it's, it's an interesting one that this is you, but I do see it's a very busy time for you. There's a lot going on, but I also feel like you're debating something, you're holding something up for yourself and going is this worth it in the same way is this important to me there, there's something on your mind that you're really um thinking about figuring out trying to something that's really taking up, up a lot of mental space for you for sure now and your place of challenges so this is leo energy we have strength here so oh you have a double look at that double infinity symbol sign of eternity and cycles you know, the fact that your challenge is coming up is strength. You know, traditionally, this is all about, you know, love conquering over hate and choosing curiosity over fear. Um, but when we're having, you know, challenges that, that come in the form that, you know, need us to be very strong, this is about trusting the path. Even when you can't see clearly, even though you may not know what's coming up ahead, this is about trusting the path and that no matter what your physical circumstances may look like, you are exactly where you're meant to be all the time. And that can be incredibly helpful, <laughs> you know, the way that life goes. I really feel like you're in a big time of transition here. And this line is coming in to say, like, you know, the grass will be sweet again. The flowers will smell sweetly again. Just allow yourself to go through the ebb and flow of life because there's going to be up cycles and there's going to be down cycles, just like the infinity symbol, right? Just like the moon. But if you allow yourself to just flow through and trust in your path along the way and try, I know it's very human to, to resist and, and fight the tide, but as much as you can, if you can just turn to your higher self, turn to your guides, turn to your ancestors, 
Turn to your support system within and around you to really lean on and give you that strength that you need. You'll find before too long that you're standing on your own two feet again and, and feeling pretty good. So just, just trust. Trust the path. Allow things to flow in and out of your experience without resistance. Again, I know that is a lot easier to say uh, than to do, but that is what's coming up for you. And the fact that it's a major arcana here as well, that always speaks of a fated or destined event, right? Anytime you see a major or a major arcana in a reading, that's something that can't necessarily be changed. It's it's coming up for you. It's your time in terms of soul growth. Uh, but if it's a minor, you can change. You can work with that energy if you see something you don't like or you, you want to, you know, take it and grow it into something that's even more pronounced than what it is. But you've got, you know, three major arcanas here marking your reading, the hanged man, the strength, and then in your place of advice is justice. Now, this is, ab look how beautiful this key is. So this is absolutely beautiful. Um, in this deck, um, these are reversed, actually, which is interesting that they're coming out together. So in the traditional writer weight, justice is usually number 11 and strength is number eight. But in this deck, they're reversed, um, which is you know, in some decks they are, this is usually number eight. So the fact that this is reversed as well, eight and 11, 11 and eight, I feel like that could, that's, that's pertinent somehow. Leo energy and Libra energy for you could be something to do in that time frame. It feels just to want to call your attention to it. So the fact that this is your advice, you know, this is very much about, you know, again, it's another aspect of trusting that everything is going to come out in the wash. Everything is going to balance itself out. If something is unfair, if something hasn't gone your way, if you feel slighted in some way or you had a loss of some kind, you know, it will even back out again. But also, this is also, you know, advice to not look at things in such a black and white way, right? The, the wealth is in the gray of the matter, right? The wealth is in the middle ground. And, and again, it's really calling to you to adopt or at least try to adopt a healthy perspective, right? And we do that by accessing our objectivity, which means separating ourselves from the emotion of it as much as possible and really stepping into our mental landscape of, okay, let me just take a step back. Let me breathe. Let me take as much time as I need to bring some objectivity to whatever this is so that I can see it more clearly and it can benefit me in some way as opposed to happening at me. Let me co-create Every moment is an opportunity for my betterment, right? I Again, I know this is a lot easier said than done, but you absolutely got this. And the fact that this is another major two coming in as your advice, this really says that there's just something going on in your circumstances during this time that is just part of the plan. It's part of the soul plan. It's shifting things for you. There is transformation afoot, but just trust that it's leading you down the path that you want to go down. So just, just really, 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 really call upon your inner reserves. Trust in the path. Call upon your higher self. Stay connected to your intuition and your support system, right? Because as your victory... You have the nine of cups, the wish fulfillment key. I'm thinking about that phrase. It's always darkest before the dawn. And, and that's really what this feels like in, in this context, because the fact that you have the wish fulfillment key is your victory. You're coming out of this time period on top. Wishes fulfilled, getting what you want. So just, it really does feel like it's like, you know, coaches going, all right, just hang in there. You've got, you know, a couple more rounds here, but you're, you're going to get, you're going to come out on top. Just keep going. Flip that perspective to get you through it in the meantime and just trust, hold on to your faith, right? That you're going to get to where you're going, that you're going to be better for it. Wish fulfillment is victory. You absolutely got this, Aries. You absolutely got this. Then is your outcome. You have the three of earth, which is the three of pentacles. Now this is about teamwork, right? It's, it's about working together. It's about partnership, but it's also about your personal mastery. Remember, the pentacles are about our physical experience. It's about the work that we do. It's about our physical selves, our health, where we live, our physical environments, right? So the fact that this is coming up as your outcome is really beautiful because it shows that you absolutely have help and aid throughout this experience, but I feel like you're also going to, you know, come out of this time with a newfound support system, feeling stronger than before, feeling like you've gotten a gift out of this that you didn't necessarily see beforehand. I feel like this is, is a part of your family or your chosen family really coming together to uplift you. And I feel like even granting you some opportunities in the meantime when you really need it. 
which is really, really beautiful. You've got a really good support system around you when this is coming up as your outcome. And I feel like there's just a really beautiful message around this of like, you can access that sense of ease and home and peace, you know, whenever you want to. It's just about choosing to do so. And just like that mole smelling the cinnamon, right? Sometimes you just got to choose what you need to do in order to enact in some self-care and really turn to those who have your back. It's really, really important right now to give really good time to the people who support you no matter what. I'm really feeling that. And that is further reflected. You have another 11 here. Further reflected in corn dollies, which is your Lamas Oracle here. So it says corn dollies, the relationships that nourish are those you nurture with your spirit. Really stunning. The relationships that nourish are those you nurture with your spirit. This, this really speaks of your support system. It really speaks of, you know, really knowing what is really important in life and what really matters, right? How are your relationships faring? How is your relationship with yourself faring? How is your relationship with your spirit faring? How is your meditation practice? How is your, your wellness practice? When was the last time that you connected with, you know, the people that mean the most to you, your friends, your family, your partner? This is really about opening up the scope and going, you know what, this is a really good opportunity for me to reconnect with those who really matter. And again, I feel like that also has to do with that flipping perspective with the cobra here and the hanged man, right? Because the hanged man is a stalemate. It's a timeout. So I feel like you can, I feel like I'm looking at a Hallmark movie where it's like the main character goes to this small town to think they're going to, you know, I don't know, shut down a business and build a new factory, but they end up staying and making the smaller business successful and like making sure the factory never happens. It's kind of that vibe where sometimes on the road, getting to where you're going is, is the actual place you want to end up. So trust the path here and really focus on the people and the pastimes that give your life meaning. That's where the gold is right now. Again, that wish fulfillment might come is a surprise. That's <laughs> the form that it takes to some of you. It really feels like you're a surprise. So your maven key here, number seven, says coming of darkness. All the light is dimming. Life is withering at the core. Are you ready? All the light is dimming. Life is withering at the core. Are you ready? So this is interesting. It's kind of mirroring the cinnamon. I wonder if there is any cinnamon in this. I'm not sure. I don't see any. But it's kind of reminding me of that kitchen I was seeing with the cinnamon and the burning and the mole. And, you know, we are looking at the autumnal equinox here um, in this key. If you're in the northern hemisphere, obviously, if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's the spring equinox. It's a similar but counter energy of time of balance. But, you know, with this key, this really speaks of understanding the cycles of life. And there's going to be times when things slow down and things, you know, the, the darkness descends. It's a different, it's a different pacing. It's a different time of year. So it's really about understanding too that, you know, you can gather your firewood, you can pull your resources to you, you can pick up that phone, you can do what you need to do self-care wise so that you have everything that you need within and around you to get through the times that, you know, maybe are a little bit more challenging or don't have the same visibility. So I'm really drawn to that, that mold that don't have the same visibility as other times, right? You know, mold medicine also equates to like an eight of swords energy, which is analysis paralysis or being caught up in a prison to which only you hold the key. And it's something that you have a choice out of, right? This really does come down to choice and perspective and objectivity, calling upon your you know, resources and, and your support system and understand that you're gonna come out of this time you know, with a form of wish fulfillment that may just surprise you in some way, shape or form and having a reinforced support system and resources really that are going to serve you on the other side of this cycle. So perhaps if you experience some delays during this time, some cancellations, some, you know, forks in the road that you don't see coming, you know, perhaps see them as the gifts they are from the universe. There could be something coming up down even further in the road that this time is meant to prepare you for. So make the most out of it. Pull your resources to you and trust that you have everything you need within and around you to ensure that you're always okay. and You're always exactly, you know, making the most out of any situation that comes to light. And you've absolutely got this, Aries, out of all the signs. Like, you can absolutely, you know, create your own experience with you know whatever cards you're dealt so remember to you know that fire that exists within and around you understand that sometimes when it's at a lower ebb that's because it's providing an opportunity for you to 
gather more things to add to it to help it grow again. So just, it's all about the perspective. It's all about how you look at things. And that's really the name of game, name of the game for this time period for you. Again, you've got three major arcanas here, just thematically, the hanged man, strength, and justice. So it does feel like this is a pivotal part of your path, but it's going to be revealed a little bit later on as to why it took this current shape. So just choose trust, lean on your support system, gather your resources to you. And before you know it, you're going to be in a different ebb and flow of your cycle. And this is going to take on a, you know, a greater context and understanding. So really beautiful Aries. You absolutely got this. So with that being said, <laughs> I so hope that this helps and resonates. If so, let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love, 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 love reading your comments. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I so, so appreciate it, Aries. And with that being said, I am wishing you such a very happy and peaceful Lamas and Maven season or in bulk spring equinox Ostara season if you're in the southern hemisphere many happy harvest to you all and with that being said again just thank you so much for being here but most of all and as always Aries just thank you for being you <laughs> and be well until next time